when you walk towards a building, the quality of the outside, the fascia, the signage, the branding, it needs to reflect the quality of the inside of the building. We wanted something that really reflected that feel as like when you're walking, you know, through that tunnel to go into the football game. Exactly, you know, how is it, what is it you see, how is it it makes you feel. So we didn't want to have anything that was over the top in any way. It had to reflect exactly what the brand was, which is like, you know, that kind of urban, deconstructed look. They had explained to, to us that they were struggling to source a suitable finish for the outside of the, 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 the project and that they wanted to kind of incorporate some interesting branding within the wall finishes. We, uh, through a process of working through our lab in the office, created a, a new finish, uh, which we call PPX, and um, immediately it, it kind of fitted the bill. We always like to be involved as early as possible, I think, within the process of developing a new finish for a client. And if we can talk to the architects and the designers, it gives us the opportunity to give them parameters that they can work with. There's no point talking to a client and developing a product which is not going to fit within their budget for instance and likewise if we can't achieve the correct colours or the correct textural look once again there's no point putting that in front of them we can fine-tune a, a product which is suitable and I think the wonderful thing about the PPX material is not only does it um, create the right form and the right aesthetic but it also has incredible technical strengths as well and performance strengths and characteristics when comparing it with the traditional polymeric renders, when you look at those, they do have a very synthetic look uh, and not very natural. And I think, uh, generally speaking, architects are looking for a natural appearance with materials. They have to match them up to wood, stones, and as soon as you put a synthetic material within that mix, it really does stand out. And our products don't have that synthetic look. I mean, not only does it look great, and we're really, really thrilled with the results of it, um, and, and it's maintaining itself absolutely beautifully. And believe me, it's, it's against all kinds of weather conditions out there over the last two years. And it absolutely looks exactly like the first day we opened with it. People do associate Armour Coat, the actual name, with durability, uh, with weather fastness and colour fastness. And, um, and, and the reason they associate it with that is all the development work that we've done over the years with the products. I think what is critical when people specify our materials is that they're, they are confident with the products that it's not just going to look good today, but that it's going to look good in years to come. A lot of stuff that we had, you know, at the opening where it just didn't do what it said on the tin. Whereas with Armour Coat, you know, we knew what we wanted, they came in, they did it, it looked great. They understood straight away what effect we were trying to create. They came in and they delivered it and it was just, I just wish everybody else could have done the same actually.